Hey guys, this is Dave here at Pulp Alley and today we have a treat for you. We're going to try to continue this little uh, street brawl that we started on Tuesday. So I want to cover just a few rules and then I'm going to talk, uh, let's just get into this brawl and see how it, how it plays out. Uh, so you don't want to miss this video. Hey, uh, real quick, before we get any further though, will you take a minute? Make sure you click that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. So a couple things I wanted to talk about real quickly is what is a success in Pulp Valley? So a success is anytime you roll a four or greater. So uh, if you're rolling for a skill, you always want to try and get a four or better. It doesn't matter if you're rolling a D6 or a D8 or a D10 or a D12. That number is written in stone in Pulp Alley and it never ever changes. So a success is always a four or better. You can get multiple successes. That's really normally what you want to do. One success is okay, two successes is great, three or more successes is extraordinary, and that's where you're trying to aim for, is getting as many successes normally as you possibly can. Uh, let's talk real quickly uh, about dodging. Dodging uh, is really helpful in a lot of ways because what it allows you to do is get out of a bad situation that you don't want to be in. Let's say uh, Luke here was in contact with uh, Colonel Hood. Uh, that's not a great position for, for uh, Luke to be in, so quite often he's going to try to get away, and what that means is to use his dodge skill. And to successfully dodge, all you have to do is one, you have to say, I'm using my dodge skill for this fight. And then two is you have to avoid taking any hits. So um, if even if uh, Colonel Hood attacks and he doesn't roll any successes, then, then you don't even have to roll. You automatically successfully dodge. You didn't take any sit hits and you can move away. You can use your disengage move. Uh, so let's talk about what is a hit. So a success is any time you roll a four or better in a, in a brawl or a shootout in a fight. But um, any success that is not canceled or blocked becomes a hit. So if I score uh, three successes and you block two of them, you took one hit because that one success was not blocked. If I hit you, you know, if I rolled three successes and you're only able to stop one of them, then you took two hits. And that gets us to rolling a health check. You roll a health check any time you suffer one or more hits. You roll a number of dice equal to the number of hits. So if you take three hits, you roll three dice. And you roll uh, the type of dice you roll is whatever is current to your, your uh, whatever your current health is. So if uh, Luke took three hits right now, uh, he would have a D8 health and he would roll three die eight. Uh, to pass that check, all of your success, all of your dice have to roll a four or better. What that means is the more dice you roll, the harder it gets to block. So you, the more hits you take, the more likely it is that you're actually going to get hurt. And then uh, if, you, if you don't pass that health check, then your health drops one level uh, and it doesn't matter how many failures you rolled. So even if all three of my dice were a failure, it's exactly the same as failing with one of them. All it is is it's showing your, your likelihood of being injured. Um, so let's, let's, go through a, let's go through a brawl. Let's just make this a street ball brawl right here. I'm going to play through it mostly at time, just so you guys can kind of see a little bit how fast it is, and we'll make some of the decisions as we go along. If I go too fast, uh, luckily this is on video, and you can always uh, pause it and back up. And uh, I'll, if something pops up, I might pause for a moment just so we can talk about it a little bit. So at the start of this, uh, we're going to say we'll just do a street brawl. Um, and we're going to say that um, the Colonel and uh, Rowdy here have control of uh, the cone. They are the director at this time. So they get to decide who's going to go first. 
who's going to activate the first character. And I'll put the director card out there just to help us remember that. So in this situation, the colonel's going to rush in there. He says, you know, well, let's, let's, let's take the fight to him. He's an old uh, veteran of the Civil War, so he's going to rush in there. Now, he's going to be rolling. He chooses to roll his brawl skills. So Luke is looking at this, and he says, you know what? I, I don't want to have anything to do with the colonel. He says, I, I don't want to be brawling you. So he's going to try to dodge away. And if you look at Luke's card here, he has four die, eight, and dodge. So here is the colonel's roll to attack. The colonel got two nines. And guess what, boys and girls, right there? There's absolutely no reason for Luke to even roll because he cannot handle those nines. And what that means is he's going to have to roll a two dice health check. And he passed it. He is not injured. The next thing we're going to do is at this point, I'm going to go ahead and make the opponent activate. So the colonel moved in, and now we're going to make uh, the bad guys activate. The bad guy gets to pick which character he wants to activate, and he's going to choose Poco. Poco moves in to Brawl. Here's an interesting thing that we could do, just so you guys could see this rule. Uh, since the colonel is currently engaged, when Poco would have to rush the nearest enemy, but Poco could choose to ignore the nearest enemy because he is currently engaged. So he could ignore the nearest engaged enemy in favor of the nearest unengaged enemy. So Poco, yeah, let's do that. Poco's going to go back here and rush Rowdy. He thinks he'll have a better chance of uh, beating up on Rowdy. And you know what? Poco has been known to be a little cowardly at times. Two, three, four, die, eight to roll. And Rowdy is going to brawl back. So here is Poco's roll. Poco got two fours and an eight. Let me see if I need more D8s out here. Oh my gosh, I didn't get enough D8s out here. Okay. So here is uh, Rowdy fighting back. And now look at this, boys and girls. You have those situations that you have to decide on. So here he goes. Uh, Poco rolled an eight. Uh, Rowdy got a seven, and Poco has to decide, and you know what? He's going to say, I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to knock out your seven, and I'm going to deliver two hits, and that means Rowdy's going to have to roll a two-dice health check. He failed it, and Rowdy is injured. Here's an interesting thing about Rowdy. Rowdy is big, so um, uh, he starts at a D10 health. So we're moving on to... Oh, you know what? That changed the, the initiative. And I, I think that's, that's awesome because I, I need you guys to remember that, that now uh, because Poco inflicted an injury and did not suffer one, Poco becomes uh, the director now, Poco's side becomes the director. So now they get to decide, do they want to activate the next character or do they want to force uh, the colonel's side to activate? And for this situation, I don't think it's going to make a big difference, but let's go ahead and force the colonel to activate again. And that means the only option he has is to activate Rowdy. Rowdy is going to have to activate. Rowdy is injured now, but he does have muscles of steel. So the injury is not going to affect his uh, type of dice but it is going to affect the number of dice that he rolls because he's already been in a fight. So instead of rolling three dice, he's going to roll two dice, and he's going to try to brawl Poco. Poco would normally roll four die eight, but he's down to three die eight because he's also already been in one fight. And poor Rowdy gets absolutely nothing, and Poco gets two successes and Rowdy's gonna have to roll another two dice health check. He passes it this time and he is not injured. How about them apples? I hope I, let's see, how about them apples? He is not injured there. He was down to a D8 health. All right, now the only characters left to activate, uh, remember in Pulp Alley, the turn cannot end while there are ready characters. And there is one ready character left on the table and that's Colorado. So now Colorado, if he was going to rush, he could not rush Rowdy because you can only ignore an engaged character if you're going to rush an unengaged character. There's no unengaged character out here. So Colorado is gonna have to take his chances against 
uh, the colonel. Now we are doing a brawl here. We're not going to do any shooting today. We'll probably get into some shootout uh, rules next week. So this is all about just brawling. Colorado has three, two, oh no. Colorado's not a great brawler. Look at that. Um, he actually has a little bit better dodge, but that's, well, let's do it. We're, we're just, we're right now, what that could represent, boys and girls, is that he's trying to keep the colonel busy. He's, he's coming up and he's, he's kind of dodging and blocking at him, but he's not trying to inflict injury right now. Even as the active character, you'll notice that he had that option of which skill to choose. So, he's going defensive here. Now the colonel looks at this situation and he realizes he's, he's kind of got two guys in contact with him. So he's going to do something tricky here. He's going to choose to dodge as well. So now both characters have chosen to dodge. So there's no reason to roll any dice because they cannot inflict any hits. So that means they have the option to move away from each other and you could look at Colorado and you could say do you want to back up Colorado Colorado says no I'm happy where I'm at then you ask the defender do they want to engage and the colonel's gonna go ahead and take his inch back up and he's gonna move back away no yeah yeah he'll move back away this way so the colonel backs up gosh I hope I'm not, I haven't been keeping track of my time very good let me check the time and see how much more time I have oh boy oh um, we're over on time already. So we're going to call that it for today. If you have questions, if you have comments, leave them down below and make sure you take that opportunity to, to hit that like button. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure and get subscribed to us. And we will see you next time. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>